give you license to shout out any fucking thing you want to because you think this is TV and I can't hear you. How we're going to do this is we're going to tie this in perfectly with my birthday, which begins at midnight. So you have to roll down here, wait for applause break, which clearly is not coming. However, so what we're going to do is if you like what you're hearing, you like the flow of the material, you think I'm a decent comedian, sometime during the show, a beer is going to show up on this stool. Now, if you don't like what you hear, two beers are going to show up on the stool. Or more. I'm going to leave that up to you. That's how we're going to measure it. Uh, we had Easter a couple weeks ago. That was good for me. I got to see my family. Very close with my family. Uh, especially my father. We're like close as this to this day. Like We still call each other by the same nicknames that we've always used. Like I still call him Ace and Champ and Number One Dad. And, he still calls me Sunny Boy, Junior, Burden, uh, Dream Killer. <laughs> Pass the mashed potatoes, former tax deduction. <laughs> Some of them changed with time, but the, you know, the message is there, so that's good. Um, I had a GPS system put into my car. I don't know if you guys have this, but it's, it's supposed to be a really handy thing. Uh, mine was a bit of a washout. I had to return it because the voice on it was an ex-girlfriend of mine. Go figure, like of all the people in the world, this is the one I get, right? And I figured that out because I'm not really that good with voices, but every time I asked, you know, tried to punch in directions, it kept telling me to go to hell. <laughs> or go fuck myself. <laughs> Which are two places clearly not on the map. I know because I checked. And they're not there. They got made up. Uh, I was reading USA Today the other day, and there was a great story that a truck, an armored truck in Maryland, got hit from behind on a major highway and spilled quarters all over said highway. And it closed down for three hours because apparently the truck that hit it was full of 80s arcade games and geeks. So you can see why there may have been a slowdown, a showdown. Hell no, I can't slow down. You get, see, you know, what, you know what pains me the most is that these young folks here will never know the beauty that was Maestro Fresh West. <laughs> They'll never know what it's like to conduct fangs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my people. Um, <laughs> again, I'm just so proud of my little ad lib there. Um, so Michael Crichton is releasing not one, but two books this year, posthumously. This guy is in his grave, one of the greatest science fiction writers of all time, is in his grave, still cranking out material. He's like the Tupac of science fiction writers. <laughs> And I think there's more to that than meets the eye because I'm waiting to hear about my government grant because I want to make a documentary about how he was probably killed by Isaac Asimov's people. That's a thinker. Meaning, meaning I thought that new punchline up in the shower today and said this will kill when I do it in spirits tonight. And instead it just, it, it buried the joke so I'm going to throw some lime on it and help it decompose a little faster. Um, so I'm sure you've all had this. You know, there's a knock at your door at an inappropriate time, you open it, and it's a couple guys in suits that say, hey, we're missionaries, which is really just a nice way, or a more acceptable way of saying, we're Jehovah's Witnesses, or join our creepy cult. And I saw these guys on my street today, out of the bedroom, I'm watching them go from door to door, because apparently I have nothing better to do during the day. I'm watching them go from door to door, and like continually having doors slammed in their face. And just thinking, why well, really, you know, you really do, to be truly religious, you have to be a little bit uh, delusional. But, basically, the thing that I can't believe is that they're missionaries. We are on a mission. Like, what are you talking about, mission? African missions, yes, I get that, because people are starving. And well-entrenched beliefs go out the window the minute you offer any kind of sustenance, even if it comes with a side of Jesus. But here, here that... 
that doesn't work. Your, your only mission right now is to annoy me, and you are succeeding. Mission accomplished. Uh, I, however, I, however, am also a missionary, and I am on a mission to get you the hell off my porch so I can get back to Jeopardy and give all the wrong answers. Because that's 38, almost 39, living the dream. Is, is Alex Trebek every night after Coronation Street. Now, uh, having you know, spoke of religion and Easter, uh, because it was Easter, I decided to, to look up my old flame, the Catholic Church, see how the old gal was doing. Uh, I was doing a little reading online, you know, seeing if, hey, what's some new shit that you got? You know, what are some new catechisms? Um, and one of the things I discovered was the hard line on abortion to this day continues. In fact, one bishop in Vancouver said that it is a violation of human life. And, you know, say what you want, it's their beliefs, it makes sense, because most Catholic clergy, I'm sure as you know, like to wait until life is at least five or six before they start to violate it. Oh, dude, dude. The comedian said something mildly provocative. No, that's not fair. Hey, it wasn't my idea. I'm not the guy that was at the board meeting and tabled the motion to have a bunch of lonely, confused guys completely cut off from society and surrounded by little boys once a week, okay? I did not table that motion. It was not seconded by Gail, I guess we'll call her. Um, so I had, in addition to the GPS girlfriend, I had a girlfriend a while ago that did stripper size, uh, which if you don't know, it was a big thing in Hollywood a few years ago.